Do you have to compensate for curvature? No. You don't? Nope. Okay. Well, you're the only one claiming them, Dumbo. But yet we don't notice, we couldn't tell either way. Yeah, as soon as you show them that there is no 15 degrees an hour drift, they'll start justifying why there isn't. It's like, you're not supposed to be justifying why we don't notice. You're supposed to be showing me 15 degrees an hour drift to prove we spin. Well, you just couldn't notice either way. The plane is flying and it's landing on a stationary land. Planes don't fly like the Earth is curved and rotating, though. You sure about that? Yeah, I can show you documents. Go ahead. It's on the uh, NASA's thing. Show it to me. If you're trying to play Absolutely. a little game with the 1987 NASA document about flat and stationary, many Earth, of them. it's a computer model, not an actual aircraft model. So you're suggesting that there's a, a 1986 document that describes how NASA are modeling aviation on a flat Earth in a computer simulation. Why? Why ever would they be doing that? It's because it's flat, Bob. Yeah, there's plenty of other documentation from NASA that declare it. But it's flat. There would be no need to create any models. You'd want them to be creating better spherical models every time. There'd be no need to create flat ones. Yeah, but what they're actually doing is modelling the world as it actually exists. Flat. Yeah, by freedom of information, we found that out in the recent history of flat Earth. Yeah, we found out that NASA deal with it flat too. That's correct. The latitude system used is flat, Bob. That's what NASA used also on the Mercator projection. <sighs> That's going to be a bit of a problem for you, my friend, especially when you're denying the very axial rotation derived from these latitude points. So it's equally valid for me to, for us to just say the plane flies over a stationary Earth, right? No. You kind of... He's not going to concede that until you point out that by relinquishing it, he's saying there's no drift. Until you say, OK, I don't notice any effects, therefore it's just as reasonable to say flat Earth gives you the same effects as a moving Earth, according to your demonstrations, that don't have drift! No 15 degrees an hour proving we spin then. Well, that's a big problem for you because uh, you need 15 degrees an hour drift to prove we spin. But saying that there isn't any effects to notice and therefore, oh, well, you can't just say it's not spinning. Well, we haven't got your 15 degrees an hour drift to prove it is. But it's okay and cool to just still say it's spinning even though we don't notice anything. Well, you'd need that 15 degrees an hour drift as per your globe Bible that says we've got a 15 degrees an hour drift called Coriolis effect. It seems you've worked very hard to deny that fact because it doesn't happen. Meanwhile, it just doesn't happen. We haven't got 15 degrees in our drift. And Bob Damwell knows it. He's apologising for it. How can you tell that the Earth is rotating if you're not taking it into account at all? No, you phrased that badly. How can you tell Earth's turning when you claim there is 15 degrees in our drift and you've just spent the last 10 minutes denying it? You do take it into account. <laughs> Now he'll flip-flop back. Now we'll start talking about demonstrations that have 15 degrees an hour drift in them. Even though he's fundamentally denied that premise in the last 10 minutes. How? Because you, you found said, you, because you cherry-picked a NASA document no, from the how do you so Chill out, chill out. How do, you, how do you take it into account when you just said you don't chase the runway sideways? Like the plane just flies 500 miles per hour that way, east to west, and it flies 500 miles per hour going the opposite direction. What I very clearly stated was that that is not a test of either the rotation or the shape of the Earth. Uh, so Bob, the science guy, denies Coriolis deflection. Not a test of the Earth and its rotation. Well, why would you, the globe believer, have it in your Bible as a 15 degrees an hour drift very well known and understood to be Coriolis effect? A lot of people think Coriolis effect is specifically to do with the globe, but that requires we do have 15 degrees an hour drift, Bob. But you're all the more happy to just deny it outright, aren't you? Because it doesn't happen. Although yeah, landing a plane on account. instrument landing does require does require uh, taking the radius of the Earth into account because that's the way the Rotation. instrument... A total non sequitur and baseless assertion that he's going to drop into flap. Chaff, so the guy can chase it. Can... Designed. Rotation. So when it comes to the flight of descent, do you have to compensate for curvature? No. You don't? Nope. Okay. Um, so whenever you land... I mean, that's one way to deal with this red herring. Like east to west, if you're landing east, mm -hmm. and then if you're landing west, right, would you have to like slow down or speed up due to um, Earth's landing. motion? No, no, nope. So Earth's motion has nothing to do with it. So we don't compensate for um, the curvature whenever we're landing. We don't do anything, and with then curvature. we don't do anything when it comes to the motion of Earth. Curvature is <laughs> so Earth has to be a level stationary plane, right? 
clearly <laughs> clearly no it, it's not that it clearly must be it's dealt with that way by the pilot he's not accounting for a massive void opening up ahead of him at eight inches per mile squared he's flying level the ground is not falling away he's flying nose up to achieve better lift so uh, uh, without question they're not flying over a globe they're flying over if a flat plane Furthermore, they're not accounting for a deviation at 15 degrees an hour that's supposed to be there to prove Earth spinning. It isn't there, and he's not accounting for it. Uh, Bob says that's fine, and it doesn't matter that not noticing because of a lot of violations of natural law and violations of gas descriptions and their behaviour when they're unbonded means that we wouldn't expect to have this deviation at 15 degrees an hour proving we spin. <laughs> New trial, come on, honest. You couldn't tell any difference from the fact that we don't tell doesn't mean we're not spinning, even though that's supposed to be the very premise that I used to prove it is. So, yeah, it's all cool, says Bob. What, what effect hanger. do you think you would have to take for rotation? You wouldn't have to. That's what I'm saying. So if you wouldn't have to take into account rotation... So if you're debunking of my 15 degrees an hour, then we're all cool, and I'll just say that still includes globe. That's what Bob's about to do. You, as a flat earther, say we don't have to take into account 15 degrees an hour. Therefore, me, the Glober, says we don't have to account for 15 degrees an hour after all. Of the Why is that a plane. test of rotation? Because, because you say there's 15 degrees an hour drift, you crazy clown. Why are you asking the flat earther why your standard of having 15 degrees an hour drift and it not being there would be a standard to prove that we spin? It's your claim! that fails miserably and we're not noticing any effects of and you're justifying why we don't have any effects of it and desperately telling him how we wouldn't have a plane have earth turn underneath it so we wouldn't have a plane proving that we can see 15 degrees of deviation from the ground like the globe claims proves we spin with <laughs> right why would we do that bob we wouldn't you stupid man you do it just fails because it doesn't, it, it, it's equally, as I'm saying, it's equally as valid for me to just say the Earth is not rotating. End of story. It doesn't take it into account. It's also equally valid to say this isn't a test of rotation. So, so having a claim that we've got 15 degrees an hour drift as a test of rotation would just be me completely and fundamentally undermining the globe's claim. Right, Bob? Well done, you stupid man. So it wouldn't be a test of globe rotation then, the 15 degrees an hour drift as Earth turns underneath to exhibit Coriolis effect exactly as the globe claims. Not a reasonable test, says Bob. <laughs> yeah, they'll bash their own heads in with shovels if you give them half enough chance. Right, Bob?